So now in recent videos, we've been looking at the photodiode right here, and with uh, the light I'm using, it didn't provide much current. I can increase the current with more light, but we're going to do something else in this video. We're going to make a photodiode with a transistor as an amplified switch. So this is a 2N2222, an NPN type bipolar junction transistor. Its pin layout, the pin on the left is the emitter, middle pin is the base, and the right pin is the collector. And that's generally the way that uh, bipolar junction transistors, uh, the ones that I've come across so far, are if they start with 2N, whether they're NPN or PNP. So emitter, base, collector, we're gonna turn it this way, the emitter is at the bottom, it goes to the more positive side of the power supply. It'll pin the base, go into that jumper. The collector is up one row right there. And we are going to put our load, which is going to be an LED light emitting diode. So this is the more negative side. We need, we're going to forward bias it. We need the cathode where the collector is, anode up one row right there and we're going to limit current to a maximum of uh, probably about about 15 milliamps or so using a 5 volt power supply with the uh, LED drop the rest going across the resistor but uh, in any case it will just make sure we never have too much current going through collector to emitter or through the LED so now we're going to take the photodiode here we're going to go to this jumper and we're going to reverse bias it so you're going to see that the long lead the anode goes towards the negative side of the circuit it'll go through the emitter of the transistor there's also a 0.6 volt drop here to be aware of that stuff you learn when you study transistors hopefully you're already aware of that the uh, cathode the short lead we're going up one row and this will limit the current but to limit it even more we're going to uh, again put a 220 ohm resistor that's going to go to the short lead the uh, cathode up there so not the same row as that jumper up one row we don't need this maybe we do if light gets bright enough but uh, any case there we have it and this will hold a voltage uh, pretty well we're gonna have a hard time making it dark enough for it to turn off. So, we are going to take a 510 ohm resistor, this one up here, and put it to the negative rail and to where that jumper is, which is also where the anode of our reverse bias rectifier diode is, or uh, not rectifier diode, photo diode is. And as you can see, it's pretty easy now to uh, make it dark enough. And now the current is changing a lot more rapidly than it was when we didn't have the transistor. That's because the transistor is amplifying the uh, current. So we just have it turned on right now. And it keeps going out because I keep getting in the way of that. We can take a uh, multimeter and see if this is saturated. It should be uh, pretty well saturated. And we can adjust the resistor here to to adjust the sensitivity so we're just going to measure across its voltage the uh, resistor and we're going to the collector of the transistor which is also the cathode of the LED and there you can see it's pretty much the full actually you can't see it is pretty much the full 5 volts across there so probably got a little loss across the transistor maybe it's not conducting as much I think it is probably conducting as much as it should and we can take a look we got the 0.7 volt drop right there and since it's above 0.7 volts instead of uh, somewhat closer to 0.6 volts that tells me that uh, uh, a fair amount of current is going through here so we can measure uh, the voltage but in any case quite a bit of voltage built up on there. Let's make it darker. And then now we should have less than probably 0.6 volts right there in relationship to ground. 
and there you can see it's quite a bit less so this is a fun uh, circuit to experiment with and to uh, measure and stuff to uh, better learn electronics pretty simple the main thing is now there's not enough light for current to really flow through the uh, photo diode there is a little bit but this resistor going to the negative rail is taking enough of that current away that we can't build up about 0.6 volts at the transistor and uh, I didn't mean to turn that off this is a touch there we go we can see that the LED is just barely starting to glow so we probably have probably 0.6 volts spot on almost right there that is uh, pretty much spot on 0.6 volts so that's when it starts conducting as more current flows through it it will go up to above 7 volts as we saw but that was probably about as high as it would go more uh, trying to apply more voltage to it would probably just result in more current flowing and uh, so forth those are topics for other videos but in any case hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video